Are I-bonds a good investment right now? I'm filming this video in October of 2022, and the current annualized I-bond inflation rate of 9.62% is about to change to 6.48% on November 1st. If you were to buy the I-bond before the rate changes, you would get the 9.62% rate for six months, and after six months, it would change to the new rate, which I calculated to be 6.48% annualized. Is this a good investment? In this video, I'm gonna to try to answer that question using three fixed rate alternatives as benchmarks. All this right after. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, I talk about stocks, SPACs, Bitcoin, options, and anything on my mind related to investing. If you wanna learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't yet. And please remember to drop a like if you enjoy this video, as it truly helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing to know is that I'm not comparing I-bonds to a stock market index like the S&P 500. Even though I-bonds have done fantastic compared to the S&P 500 this year. Since the S&P is in the middle of a bear market. But it still doesn't make sense to compare a fixed income investment to a stock market benchmark. That's like comparing apples to oranges. So to compare apples to apples, I've chosen three fixed income alternatives as my benchmarks to answer the question, are I-bonds a good investment right now? The first benchmark we're gonna look at is a high yield savings account rate. My current high yield savings account is paying me an APY of 2.2%. Now let's break down what we would get if we were to invest in an I-bond today before the inflation rate changes to 6.48%. As you all know, I-bonds must be held for a minimum of 12 months. And if you hold an I-bond for less than five years, you lose the last three months of interest payments. So to calculate what you would get from buying an I-bond now, holding for 12 months, withdrawing at the first chance, and losing out on the last three months of interest, that would be 9.62% APY for six months, which would be 4.81%, plus 6.48% APY for three months, which would be 1.62%. I-bonds are compounded semi-annually, so the total APY would be 6.51%. Compared to my high interest savings account, which is paying me 2.2% APY, buying I-bonds now, in my opinion, is definitely a good place to park some cash. Now let's take a look at my second benchmark, which are one-year CDs on Fidelity. One-year CDs at the time of this video are paying 4.2% APY. Similar to I-bonds, a one-year CD must be held for the full 12 months to guarantee that 4.2% rate of return. Even though the guaranteed one-year return of 6.51% on I-bonds doesn't dominate the return of one-year CDs as it does against a high-yield savings account, I still think that I-bonds relative to one-year CDs are a good investment. Sure, the Fed has signaled that they will continue to raise rates. And in a few months, we could see one-year CDs paying 5% or higher. But given that a one-year I-bond rate is a full 2.3 percentage points higher than a one-year CD, I think that's a big enough cushion and margin of safety to choose an I-bond over a one-year CD. That margin of safety is even higher if you live in a state with high income taxes, since you have to pay state income taxes on CDs in a taxable account, but I-bonds are exempt from state taxes. So to me, I-bonds beat my second benchmark of one-year CDs. 
The third benchmark I want to talk about is a fixed rate mortgage. Many of you, like me, have either refinanced or even bought your home in the past few years and got a dirt cheap mortgage rate. I personally have a 30 year fixed mortgage rate of 2.5%. Compare that to the guaranteed rate of return of 6.51% over the next 12 months for an I bond and an I bond is the clear winner. So by buying an I bond, instead of paying off my mortgage early, it's as if the US government is paying me to live in my home. So if you also have a super low fixed mortgage rate, it doesn't get much better than this. So there you have it. I bonds clearly beat my three fixed income alternatives. So in my opinion, buying an I bond now before the rate changes in November would be a good fixed income investment over the next 12 months. But let me know what you think about I bonds. Are I bonds a good investment right now? Drop me a line in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.